In today's episode of Top Tier One Take, I sail out of a cap circle. A Kabarosk dodges some airdrop torpedoes, and a Shima Yolo's aroma. We're going to try something a little different in today's video. Hello, I am Zarkoon and this is World of Warships Legends. Welcome to my new and exciting series. I'm calling it Top Tier One Take. The idea is I, or potentially you, my viewers, choose a top tier ship, I take it out into a single game, do live commentary over said game, and post the result on YouTube. Hopefully it works out well, although I'd say, judging by the fact that you're seeing it on YouTube, it did work out well. And I suppose this could also be done with low-tier ships too, just I've chosen the top-tier name for what I think should be obvious reasons. Anyway, for the very first episode of Top Tier, One Take, I present to you our glorious vessel. Some say it's Commander kept a picture of his cousin's poodle inside his cabin. Others say that, in times of crisis or jubilation, the main battery guns deploy a plume of white powder with special properties that instantly set the crew into a state of high alert. All I know is that it's called the Palo Emilio, and we're taking it out into battle today. So let's go. One thing to note about our glorious vessel is that it recently received a buff, and frankly, I don't really want to spend a whole commentary talking about that buff, which is why I'm doing that in this format. What was the buff? Well, prior to the introduction of the buff, this ship was so fast that it could outrun its own exhaust smoke screen. But now, the smoke screen has been buffed, and the ship can't outrun it, meaning that if you choose the exhaust smoke, it will cover your ship even at full speed, and you won't go out of it or get spotted. Now let's take a look at the team lineup. Who are we facing? Fletcher, Kabarosk, Cleveland with Radar on the enemy team, and of course, the Fun Police. But we have the August von Parseval, so that means we should come out of this match victorious. Now let's see if we can go YOLO some battleships, shall we? All right, instantly located. That means, oh, protect me. The Baltimore says protect me. Perhaps he knows me. Perhaps he just thinks that the job of the cruiser and the battleship next to me, the cruiser being the Baltimore himself, of course, is to support the destroyer, and if that's the case, thank you. He must know me. Clearly that's it. Anyway, we're locating something. It's behind the island of this Charlie Cap. It's locating us in return. I'm gonna assume that that is the Fletcher or the Kabarosk. Potentially, it could be the Cleveland. That fictional commander, Victor F. Einstein, some say he's Tactic Angel's favorite commander in the game. He does come with a perk that gives you this RPF indicator, and you can put it on your Cleveland, potentially. But I think we've discovered the culprit, and it is the Kabarosk. Fun police are already beginning to issue him a citation for trying to have fun. Let's see if the citation sticks. No, he was able to bribe the court. Let's open fire on him. Doesn't seem like there's anybody besides him that can really fire back. And that is a, an extremely underwhelming hit. This is not a gunboat, and frankly, I think the damage that a this HE does, well, at least the reload time of this these guns, Balanced around sap, and frankly, this HE doesn't do spectacular enough things to warrant this stupidly long reload time. 
Well, I wanted to disengage, but that is not possible. Ah, the fun police have issued me a citation this time. I almost slowed down and let them hit me like a complete potato. But we shot down a plane, and the gross occur first is... Oh, Fletcher as well. Hmm. Well, that sort of changes the calculus here. But perhaps it's time to deploy the smoke. There we go. GK could be using sonar. Looks like he's turning in as well. And we'll pop one of these tor- Yeah, he is using sonar. That is what you would call unfortunate, but we just need to sail out of its range. And then flip around and use our spare torpedo launcher. We'll just send it that way. Hopefully it doesn't hit the friendly ship. Not that it would do anything to him, but it would do something to my mood. Oh, one torp and, of course, 17,000 damage, because these... These aren't your little bitch torps. These are... Oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. Well, if I swear in this, I apologize. This is something I'm doing live. It's sort of like streaming, except I don't have to pay attention to a chat. What? How did that happen? Now, if only we could use these wonderful guns to start a fire. We certainly can't go try to out-DPM a Fletcher, because that's just not going to happen. But we could set a fire on this GK. After hitting him with one torpedo and causing flooding. Alas, it may not be possible. And we may want to stop that shooting right now. Just in case old Kabarosk decides, you know, to be in a position where he can spot us. Now, is GK going to come around that island? Please do it, sir. Surely his sonar has expired by this time, because the GK is very short sonar duration time, but the fun police are coming back, and they're going to they're gonna ruin my fun. They spot me. Ooh. Was that the Parsifal citadeling the GK? I almost feel sorry for him. He deserves to die with honor, not with shame, being citadeled from the sky. He's a mighty, mighty vessel. And there's the Kaaba. I dare not I am so hesitant to even shoot at him at this range. Because, like, he'll kill me. Are we going to miss him with all of these? Okay. I was going to say, that would be unacceptable. All right, now we can shoot at him, especially since the GK is dead. And I suppose there was that smokescreen buff coming in handy, right? Stopping us from being spotted. Well, I mean, we didn't outrun it, I guess, so we didn't get spotted. We got spotted because of the sonar, not because of the... We went too fast for our own smokescreen. So, embarrassing, a horrible tragedy, yes. But something entirely within our control, unlike the smokescreen setup. Well, I guess that was within our control as well. Everyone's just a potato. That's the problem. All right, so we're going to be able to take this cap. If I've learned one thing about the Kabarosk, it's that there is no point in chasing one down. The Fletcher is already headed away. Oh, the fun police, right. Oh, the Fletcher's coming back. No, 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 no. This is not acceptable. Do not try to out-DPM me, because you will. Turn this way, my dear Fletcher. 
We're gonna have to sail out of this cap. The fun police. We can't sit stationary either. Ooh. What is taking down all his planes? The Baltimore? Thank you. Is that defensive AA? Wow. That was... That was pretty cool. Okay. Oh, Baltimore. With his sonar as well. Coming in clutch. Alright, Fletcher. Now what are you gonna do? You sailed into a Baltimore and a Paolo. You're... screwed? Well... I can't shoot him. Apparently neither can the Baltimore now. But I'll tell you one thing, I am faster than him. That is one thing I know for sure. So we just gotta get some speed going. We need some power to these engines. And I am fairly confident that I can shoot him once and he'll die. And thus I can win a gunfight with a far superior... Never mind. He died. I'm going to sail into this smoke screen. All right, hidden from the fun police. Now, I think the move of choice is probably to go take Bravo. And besides, I am fairly convinced that the enemy aircraft carrier is in this area. And if we see his planes spawning somewhere on the map, you know, then we'll know where he's launching them from and we can go YOLO him. It is a thing he would deserve. Alternatively, hmm, alternatively we can YOLO this Amagi. Ah, uh, we've been spotted by the fun police. Are the fun police coming in? Why can't you look straight up in the air? Wargaming, fix this problem. I need to see... It's time to smoke up. I need to see where these planes are going. Eh? Well, this is not good. This is the downside of the YOLO smoke. The downside is, if you're the only one spotting the target, then you're screwed. 13 seconds left on the smoke screen. We should just be able to pop up on this Amagi. We're going to launch one of these torps at the Iowa. He won't expect it. And the other one... We save for the Amagi. Can't possibly outrun this. And we might die. But this is what the YOLO Emilio is for. Okay. Okay. And... We're gonna die, I think. But we're going to kill that Amagi. And I was hoping that would stop us being spotted. But the fun police have us in our... Have us in their sights. So... Yeah. We're probably going to die now. <gasps> We go unspotted? He misses us with a torpedo? We're alive. Now we gave up all of our hit points to do that. So we can't do anything now. If the fun police spots us, it's all over. We get taken to the gulag. See? That Kabarosk down there? See, I told you that there's no point in chasing them. Our only hope is to get 
far away. Far, far, far away, actually. And hope that this Iowa dies. Obviously, we caused flooding with our torpedoes. So that means that fire sticks. And the fun police are all the way over there now. So we... Hmm. I'd love to shoot at the Iowa. I can get closer to him. I can get him within 6 km. I suspect he's gonna spark it in reverse. Torpedo range is 6 km precisely. This indicator is getting in the way. We're there though. And one behind. Oh, did we get too close? No, we didn't. We didn't! Pulled it off from stealth. Just sit there, please. Do not go forward. Please do not go forward. Go backwards, Iowa. The fun police are coming back. They've got bombs. Yes. Yes. Hoo 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 hoo. Got him. You gotta kill the destroyers. Even the low health ones can finish you off. Ooh. Our destroyer is doing a YOLO. Shima YOLO on Aroma. And it worked. Nice. And now Kabarask versus a dead Baltimore. Okay, so I think we're going to lose this one. I don't think there's any coming back. Basically, this is hard mode right now. And we've only... We got like less than a minute left to go. So, Balti, kill the Kaba. Take him down. Nope. So it's going to be a loss. Nevertheless, I think this is probably a pretty good and entertaining game to serve as the very first episode of Top Tier 1 Take. I'd say this is certainly going to be going on... What? YouTube? Oh, his secondaries can kill me. Please, torpedoes, reload before I die. Reload. Get this right, Zarkoon. Get this right... Oh my gosh, 40 hit points. Get behind the island. Get behind the island. What's he got chasing me? Torpedo bombers? No. One torpedo, two, three. No, he's not dead. Oh, that's unfortunate. The fun police gets away with it. So close. 209,000 damage. Okay. Well, there's a look at the Paolo Emilio for you on tonight's episode of Top Tier One Take. Let me know if you enjoy this new video format in the comments and if you want me to continue to produce future installments. If so, what ship would you like to see next? Let me know. Also, give it a like or a thumbs up, whatever you call it. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.